Okay, I remember seeing this video of a guy called Gary V or Gary Vaynerchuk. I think this was back in 2008. This guy was using a lot of bad words. He got really excited, he got really angry and everything he said made so much fucking sense. Then he released the book Crush It and I became a huge fan. I still call this book one of the main reasons that helped me to decide to quit my job and start my own businesses. Ever since I've tried to meet Gary, whenever I go to New York, I try to contact, no success. Then I realized he was coming to Warsaw this year, but I forgot about it until I got a ticket for the conference for my birthday. Since the last two weeks, I've been trying tweeting, direct messaging, emailing, every single fucking channel that's possible. Official press contacts, everything. No reply, nothing. The only positive reply we got was a tweet. It was an okay from a fake Gary Vee account. So here I am in Warsaw. I know it's not gonna be a full interview, full in speed with Gary, but I wanna ask him a question or a few questions. No fucking selfies. So walk into this conference, let's see what's gonna happen. I know there will be a thousand people and everyone will want their piece of Gary. And yes, that's exactly what was happening at the conference. Everyone's super excited and over motivated in their beautifully ironed shirts. One asshole even took my seat after a break, so I had to sit down on the ground on the side, which turned out to be my advantage. Look why. Okay, the people have a lot of questions. There are two people with a microphone. Where the mic? I guess I'm the first one. Okay. Um, <laughs> the microphone was next to me, Gary. Uh, first of all, a huge fan since Crash It. Thank you so much for everything you've been doing. Uh, one thing that you just mentioned about the farming, but also before that people get uh, really comfortable when business goes well. Yes. And my question uh, to that is, uh, We've managed to farm for past six years. I run a streetwear brand. We managed to create in Prague and in Slovakia like something like a Supreme style because we sell out and the hype is huge. Uh, but we kind of uh, struggle to get further, you know, like wh whenever we go to get a global attention, to get a European attention. What would be the first thing that you, you would do in my, my place tomorrow, for instance? If I was your new partner, and they are day one, I would say to you and your partners, I would say, wait a minute, why are we worried about America and, and Asia and South America? Are we doing that for our ego? Because I would ask what's going on in Prague and Slovakia and Poland, have we maximized our home? Have we squeezed that orange enough that there's no more juice? Then you go. The biggest mistake young entrepreneurs make is when they're getting a little traction in a market or two, they want to be big and they want to win in Manhattan and have a fucking, you and your friends already talked about the story you're gonna have in fucking Soho and Tokyo. Brooklyn, yeah. Of course. That's why most entrepreneurs lose. They overexpand because they go wide and not deep. And when shit hits the fan, when you're shallow, it's very easy to kill you. So I would tell you, my first take is, have we maximized the markets we're winning in? I can promise you, you have it. Thank you so much. I have so many more questions, but unfortunately, there's too many more people. So thank you, Gary. You're thank welcome. you. Okay. Who's coming? Someone here in the front? Okay, so I took Gary's advice and I'm gonna squeeze everything out of Warsaw, for instance. I started right away and I already agreed on a pop-up store here with the best Warsaw sneaker store and also with the, one of the best Polish rappers, Japson. We're gonna make a collab together. So thank you so much. I think this is what you call to squeeze everything out of a two-minute mentoring by Gary Vaynerchuk. So let's see what happens.